Now, in the current version of Windows, at least that one before the Spring 2018 update, you can go into System, Notification and Actions, and then you'll see inside here, you'll see Quiet Hours. Now, this panel just lets you rearrange how they appear on your notification area. But when it's on your notification area, you can click on it uh, just to turn it on and off. You can go down here and you can make, change certain settings. Plus, you can scroll down even further and change which ones notify you. But that's a global setting. And it doesn't apply to the scheduled hours, that automatic hours, uh, that I believe are at like 10 o'clock at night to 7 a.m. in the morning. There's no way you can change that. But that's changed with the spring update. So after the spring update, if we go to settings here and we type in quiet, you'll see that it comes up with focus assist instead of quiet hours. That's the new name. So you notice up here, it says choose which notifications you'd like to see in here so you can stay focused, hence the new name. Now the first settings is the default, which is off. You get all the notification from any app that has notification and is turned on. The next setting is priority only. And it, it says see only selected notification from a priority list. The rest will go straight to the action center. What that means, you won't get the little pop-up in the corner, but you'll see them still over here in your action center whenever you go to check uh, what's been going on. So let's go down here to customize your priority list uh, and see how to do that. So if you go down here, it says show incoming VoIP calls and calls from a link phone. That's either an old Windows phone or if you have installed uh, Cortana on an iOS or an Android phone. Incoming text, again, you can get text back and forth between your desktop and your phone and show reminders regardless of the app being used. So if you scroll down, you can also set priorities by people. The first check mark says you can show notifications from pin contacts on your taskbar. So if you put somebody on your taskbar because they're important enough, they'll automatically let those priorities uh, calls come through. And if they're not on your taskbar, you can add a contact by clicking on the plus sign and go to your contact list and add people from there. Now the last thing is to uh, allow by app. If I were you, I would turn off all of these here because uh, you never know what's going to interrupt you. So if you have anything on there, uh, get rid of it. Now the third way is by alarms only. Hide all notifications except alarms. Well, that's obviously easier because unless you use the actual alarm function, whether it's Cortana reminders, appointments, whatever, games, nothing will show up unless it's an alarm. Now let's go down to the next section, which is automatic rules. And depending upon the time of day or the, a certain events happening, notifications can or cannot go through. So if we go up to the top, the first setting says during these times. Now right now you see it's 11 to 7. I'm figuring what the default is, and it's turned off because I'm doing this video in the middle of the day. So we're going to go ahead and turn it on, and we're going to say that quiet hours are going to start well, it says at 11 p.m., but I still want to get calls. I don't want to get calls after 10. So I click the checkbox down here, come over here, and uh, 7 o'clock is too early. I don't want anybody to disturb me before 8, go down to the bottom, click the checkbox, and these are now my new hours. Now, I would leave it on a daily repeat rather than having a special one for weekends and weekdays, but you can do that. The focus level, again, it's alarms only. You can set it again here. Now, down here at the bottom, there's a thing that says show notification active center when the focus assist is turned on automatically. That means it's going to pop up and tell you that, hey, focus assist is now on. No, you can, nobody can get through. I would uncheck that. You don't want it uh, coming up in the notification area where you're in the middle of doing something just to tell you it's not going to bother you. And there's no, no need to save. You just back up and your settings are already saved. You see it says 10, 8, 10 p.m. to 8 a.m. You won't be bothered. And it's also priority only. Uh, so that's all good. Now the next option is when I'm duplicating my display. Now if we click on this, you'll see that it's basically for, what, let's say you're doing a presentation, and a lot of times your presentation is on one screen, and on your other screen where you have your notes, uh, you're looking at that. You don't want a reminder about your appointment at the dentist to show up during a presentation. And again here you have the other options for focus level and show notification when focus is to turn on. You don't want to be interrupted in a, in a presentation, so I turn those off. Now we've covered all those. Let's go back to the third option, which is when I'm playing a game, I have it set for alarms only. Again, high notification. You want to have it on 
and then it says alarms only or priority only set it to what you want okay that makes sure that it doesn't happen during your while you're gaming now note the terminology here it says direct X game it doesn't say OpenGL and I'm not 100% sure it's going to prevent notifications during those so there you have it focus assist you can set all these parameters for both the hours and the activities uh, to make sure that your notifications don't interrupt you while you're doing other business so all you gamers out there go into the settings and stop the notifications now let me know if you have any problems but Windows 10 spring 2018 update should make your gaming experience that much better